Have you ever wondered if bacteria make distinctive sounds? If we could listen to bacteria, we would be able to know whether they are alive or not. When bacteria are killed using an antibiotic, those sounds will stop. Unless, of course, the bacteria are resistant to the antibiotic. This is precisely what a team of researchers from TU Delft, led by Dr. Farbid Alajani, has managed to do. They captured the low-level noise of a single bacterium using graphene. Their research is published in Nature Nanotechnology. Farbid Alajani's team was initially looking into the fundamentals of the mechanics of graphene. But at a certain point, they wondered what would happen if this extremely sensitive material came into contact with a single biological object. Graphene is a form of carbon, consisting of a single layer of atoms, and is also known as the wonder material, said Dr. Alajani. This one atom thick honeycomb sheet of carbon atoms, sensible to external forces, is one of the most promising nanomaterials, due to the unique combination of its remarkable electrical and mechanical properties. The team of researchers initiated a collaboration with the Nanobiology Group of Cs Decker and the Nanomechanics Group of Peter Steenikin. The team ran their first experiments with E. coli bacteria, and what they saw was striking, said Dr. Decker. When a single bacterium adheres to the surface of a graphene drum, it generates random oscillations with amplitudes as low as a few nanometers, that the researchers could detect. The team could even hear the sound of a single bacterium. The minimal oscillations result from the biological processes of the bacteria, with the essential contribution from their flagella, the tails on the cell surface that propel bacteria. To understand how tiny these flagella beats on graphene are, it's worth saying that they are at least 10 billion times smaller than a boxer's punch when reaching a punching bag, said Dr. Alajani. Yet, these nanoscale beats can be converted to soundtracks and listened to. And how cool is that? This research has enormous implications for the detection of antibiotic resistance. The experimental results were unequivocal. If the bacteria were resistant to the antibiotic, the oscillations just continued at the same level. When the bacteria were susceptible to the drug, vibrations decreased until one or two hours later. But then they were gone entirely. Thanks to the high sensitivity of graphene drums, the phenomenon can be detected using just a single cell. In the future, the team aims to optimize their single-cell graphene antibiotic sensitivity platform and validate it against a variety of pathogenic samples. Eventually, it can be used as an effective diagnostic toolkit for fast detection of antibiotic resistance in clinical practice, said Dr. Steenikin. This would be an invaluable tool in the fight against antibiotic resistance an ever-increasing threat to human health worldwide. Thank you for watching. And please, don't forget to subscribe. We are